How are you guys? You okay? It's crazy out here, huh? This is the outside world. Hey guys, we will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. Please subscribe. What's up, my boo high squad? How are you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so! Welcome to another vlog. Guys, there's so much going on. Okay, if you saw the last vlog, you know that we got two new family members. Mm-hmm. Hi there. These are our new pheasants. And guys, they topple over their food like crazy. We, we're gonna get them some bowls that don't topple over so easily. Um, but there they are, they're juveniles. They're young, so they're not as colorful, but when they get older, guys, well, the males, when they're older, oh, they are gorgeous. Hi there. But they're currently in the acclimation period where they're just adjusting to their environment, so they gotta keep be kept in a quarantine cage like this um, for the next week. So we have them here in our aviary. See, this is our aviary full of parrots who will be moving out soon to an outdoor aviary, yay! Which has been months in the works. Um, but the parrots aren't really disturbing the pheasants, which is good because we're still trying to decide whether or not the pheasants will move to the outdoor aviary with these parrots or will be living here. Originally, I wanted them to live here in this indoor aviary, but RJ's like, oh my gosh, their poo. Their poo isn't that bad, but we'll see. Um, I'm gonna try them out living in this aviary for a bit. And if it's way too much, if it's way too much poo and it becomes impractical for cleaning, we will move the pheasants to the outdoor aviary. Um, but for now, for a week. Hi guys. I'm just coming in here. Everyone, like, this is a high traffic area. People are always passing by. See, the dogs are always watching the new pheasants. So they're all getting used to, you know, the traffic here. They're also getting used to the bird traffic. Yeah. Guys, this is Ruby. Ruby, are you looking at the pheasants? They're cool, right? Look, she's so intrigued. And now the male is standing up. Hi. I love the little chirps he makes. Oh, what a nice, what a nice tweet you have. <laughs> Hi, welcome to the Mabuhai Squad farmhouse. I want them to get used to, I want them to get used to us. OMG Mabuhai Squad, the most traumatic thing. Right when I stopped recording before this last shot, this bird started freaking out and I looked, there were a ton of ants crawling up his leg and biting him. So he was being attacked by ants. I quickly grabbed him and moved the cage out here. Both of them freaked out actually. Um, so sorry, those darn ants. But no more ants, they, they're all gone now. And we've moved them out here. Sorry, it's a stressful first day, isn't it? I'm sorry. You're here with the bunnies now. No ants out here. Okay guys, we're moving them out here in the dog run. Magnus doesn't really come all the way here anyway, so here they'll be less stressed, I think. There you go. We've even put super worms in there. Guys, feel free to have super worms. They're looking at the worms. Go, 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 go. I'll step back. Okay, enjoy. Okay, looks like they're looking at the food bowl. They're looking at the worms. Go on. Yep. Go, go, go. You can eat it. <laughs> the female's checking out the bowl. No? All right. I'm sure they will eat them later. Okay, wait a second. What is the female doing? She's like pulling out feathers from the male. Oh, and she's eating the feathers. What? Do pheasants do this? Or is she eating ants that might be on his feathers? Okay, pheasants are strange. What are they doing now? Magnus is also watching the pheasants. He's like, what are those things? They're strange. Will they eat me? No, Magnus, they won't. 
All right, so the new plan is we're just going to keep them here for a bit. Normally, they would just run away when a trail of ants comes by, but because it was in a cage, and I think the ants were just eating a lot of the spilled food, they started attacking the pheasant, like, get away from our food. But it was really the pheasant's food in the first place. Yeah, these poor birds, but I think they'll be okay here for now. Guys, look who's awake. Oh, sugar, sugar. Hey, you're up late. I think he wants a quick bite to eat some Cerillac before going back to bed. Hi, Shaga. And the dogs, of course, are going crazy. Guys, I'm here with a very good friend. His name is Philbert Wong. Hey, Philbert. Welcome to the Philippines and to the Mabuhay Squad farmhouse. So, Philbert is a, a good friend from Toronto, um, Filipino. He was born and raised here migrated to um, Toronto and me and him go way back and he's filming a feature documentary how has the past few days been filming uh, fun <laughs> fun yes he's been staying with us um, and this feature documentary will be coming out in Toronto on Toronto TV at some point so this should be fun there's Melody hi Melody She's saying hi to Philbert. There are the iguanas. There's Eve. And there's Adam. Good morning. Hope you guys are ready for your new iguana pen soon. And guys, this is Bam. Hi, Bam. Also assisting with the shoot. And we're shooting this particular shot in front of the Pinoy Chalet. Yes. All right, guys. I'll see you guys after. Look at that camera setup. Sweet. So guys, we're shooting here at the back of the Pinoy Chalet on the porch. And guys, look at the bamboo swaying. It's so relaxing and peaceful. I love bamboo. Do you guys like bamboo? All right, guys, so we're having lunch. Guys, Philbert is a vegan. How long have you been a vegan? Nine years. Nine years, um, and what's the difference? Uh, you feel a difference in life? Yes. So you feel like a 24 year old? Mas healthy pa nung 24. Oh my! <laughs> well, you look like a 24 year old. You're not 24? I wish. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, see? Asian don't raise in. But, um, so we've cooked a lot of vegetarian dishes. See, we got beets. Yeah. Uh, beets, even, yeah. Pasta, mushrooms. We got, for, well, Bam eats everything, right? Yeah. That's why I feel like a 30 year old. That's why you feel like a third. Guys, he's 26. 26? <laughs> yeah. 26 years old from Manila. Yes. Uh, we have Thai food here. Look at that curry. Mm. Guys, RJ bought a cute package for Melody, our farm cat. It's a lounge. <laughs> Cyrus, like, what is that? Hi there, Ruby. Hi, Scarlet. Hi, Rojo. All the way up there. <laughs> Guys, you're about to move into your new aviary soon. Are you guys ready? It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna blow your minds. But I must admit, I'm gonna miss seeing you guys like from inside the house. But I do know, Mabu High Squad, that it will be better for the birds. Much better for the birds. Much better for you guys. You won't have to be surrounded by all this glass and bricks. It'll just be out. Out in the open, with mesh all around. Yeah. You guys have, will have lots to see. And guys, this is not a goodbye. No need to get emotional, even though I'm a little bit emotional. Um, because I'll be out there every single day saying hello. So these parrots, they're not bonded, like emotionally bonded with any of us. I mean, we're part of the flock, but if for example, RJ and I were to leave for a week, they wouldn't get depressed. They're bonded to each other. Um, and that was on purpose. Because back in the day, when we had one parrot, her name was Ligaya, our late African gray parrot. We raised her from just the chick and she depended on me. She, like she would be depressed if I wasn't there. And I found that to be so endearing. So I was so attached to the bird, but I could never enjoy leaving the country for work or what, whatever um, or leaving home for too long without taking the bird because, you know, the bird was bonded to me 
and I had set it up to be wired like that. So now that we have parrots, again, I've made sure that they're not solely bonded to me or anyone in this home. Uh, so we're more of like just flock members, I guess, and not like life partners, so to speak. So them moving outside won't be separation anxiety from any of us, I think. I think it'll still be good. They'll still be seeing all of us all the time. All right, of course, we're getting Bam and Philbert to sign a peg. It's our guest book, the Kenneth Colburn Pue Chiquita Stools. We've decided to use these pegs as like pages of our guest book. See, people have left the date and their name so we can have memories of who stopped on by. Sweet. Thanks, Philbert. Well, that one's an hour. That's awesome. All right. And now you can just stick it back in. Okay, guys. Everyone's gone. But we got a package from my tita Karna from Toronto, who's coming, actually, in March. In February, I mean. Oh, I'm coming there. Let's see. You guys know my tita Karna, my aunt. She's like my second mom. She stayed with us growing up and... Took care of my brother and I. Sort of biscuits. Ooh, biscuits. <gasps> what is that? It's turon. <laughs> it's turon. Is it? Oh, crunchy, crunchy almond. Mmm. Ooh. Letters yeah. and cards. Oh wow. Oh, wow. Look at this. Ooh. It's a sticker. Red nice. This is an apple. What? Oh, cute apple. What is that? Amazing dish cloth. It's for like wiping plates. Nice. Oh, that's nice. Tita, thank you. Guys, RJ is obsessed with apples. What is this? What is that? Oh, daily prayer cards. Prayer cards. We, we, all, we, we, we always get, get this a lot. Yeah, we get a lot of prayer cards from my Tita and Karna. Mikey, okay. RJ, and Mabuhai squad, Mabuhai farm team. We'll, go, we'll read that after. Oh, Ooh. more apple. Matita, where did you get all this? Eco bag, yay, a Canadian Tim Hortons eco bag. A lot of eco bags, I love that. Shoppers Drug Mart. Oh, reminds me of Canada. I miss home. A little bit of that. Or maybe yeah. to protect the, the bags. Uh, that's her, so yeah. The bag, the bag. But hey, that's great. We could use these eco bags. Yeah. Ooh, Metro eco, eco bag. It's for us. Oh. Candy. Oh, candy canes. Oh, we can hang them on the tree now. Candy Maker's Witness. From Indiana. Oh, nice. We have to hang them on the tree. That was, that's the only thing missing from our tree. Candy canes. Socks. Are those socks? No, dishcloth. Dishcloth, more dishcloths. And, oh, is that what I think it is? Is that caramel mm. chocolate? Yeah. Uh, no. Oh, caramel, no. sweet. Crunchy wafers, yum. Ah, oh, Tita, thank you so much. So speaking of my family from Toronto, guys, they're coming again. Like another round of cousins and aunts are coming again. Um, they're going to arrive the end of January, I believe. So they're gonna be staying here. Oh my gosh, it'll be so much fun again. I cannot believe it will almost be a year since, you know, my family from Toronto came here. I believe they, we're here last March. And yeah, just a few months from now, it'll be a year since they've been here. But a new round of cousins are coming this time. So I'm so excited, yay! Uh, my aunt will be here. It's just gonna be a lot of good family time. And speaking of family time, I don't wanna reveal yet who will be staying here before my family gets here. Yes, but as a clue, these creators, they're a creator family. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm excited for that too. Yeah, RJ and I are so excited for it. Woo! It's gonna be so so fun. They'll be yes. arriving. They'll be arriving from US. I'll let you guys guess in the comments who it's will be coming here. Videos. RJ, don't give clues. It's not the time for clues. <laughs> oh, guys, these are magnets to stick on your car. Okay. Sweet. To show your devotion to the baby Jesus, the infant Jesus. Okay, let's do that on the Mabuhai Squad van. On the Mabuhai bus.
What's up, my Buhai squad? How are you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. Guys, today's the big day. OMG. So yesterday we picked up these large tree, like dead trees, big branches. They came all the way from Tagaytay. And guys, these are going to be the branches that will be going in the aviary. <gasps> I think we might be able to move the birds in today. All right, guys, now we're just testing what it looks like for each branch and the position. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. This beautiful curved one will be perfect right here. Right in the middle. Let's see. Uh, it should come out. Yeah, equal. Yeah, like that. Oh, yeah, beautiful. So we're going to have to tie each branch to the edge. This entire structure is very strong. So. And then this one, the last one goes here. Yay! So the idea, my idea was zigzag. See? It's every other. And it gives them a lot of room to fly through the middle if they need to. Ooh. Oh, that one goes all the way to the top. Wow. Actually, we have a better idea. This here. Yes. Salamat. <gasps> and then this there. Guys, we got a package. What is it? Ooh, RJ ordered a parol, which is a Filipino uh, tradition for Christmas. It's a traditional star-shaped lantern. For the bike. Ooh, for the bike. For the Pinoy chalet. Oh, there's a lot of them. There's four. Let's see. Oh, cute. <laughs> They're red. Oh, and they have like little streamers attached to them. Oh, it's cute. Yeah, they are fancy. This from Rustans. Amazing. From Rust Rustans. Okay. Hi, bunnies. How are you doing today? Hi, guys. Guys, these bunnies are so cute. And they're like peaceful. Mm-hmm. And they eat everything, guys. Even like the weeds I pull from our lawn, they will gobble that up. Hey, Brittany. What's going on, Brits? That's Brittany, our Mexican hairless. And Rizal. Good morning, Rizalzies. Our giant poodle. Hi. Yes, hi. What do you see, Brittany? <laughs> she's heading down to the staff house and she's probably going to check out the Pinoy Chalet because RJ's down there. Let's go see. Oh, wow. It looks so cute. Like that. Oh, it's so Filipino. So not sure if I showed you guys, but this decking, see, is uh, completed. There's a boardwalk now for those who want to check out our pond. This is the pond area, guys. We are just fed the turtles their pellets, but the fish have a feast on it. But I think the turtles are munching on like the kangkong that we're growing. See the water spinach? I think they're eating that too. But see, it's a really cute boardwalk. Lined with white stones. Let's see if we can spot Turbo or Donatello. They're so fast, guys. As soon as they, I approach, I hear a sploosh and they're, they're in the water. They're very shy. <gasps> let's see, let's see. Oh, so nice. Wow. See it, guys? It looks cute. Wow, that looks really cute, even with the wreath on the door. Do you guys like it? I think it looks cute. Okay guys, this is the hammock we bought Melody. I wonder if she's gonna use it. <laughs> Something tells me no. All right guys, this is it. We're doing this, we're securing the branches to the sides of the aviary. Hi there, Billy. This is Billy, our goat. Hi, Bills. Smelly boy, mm-hmm. That's his bedroom. Um, this one will have a special... Well, hasn't he been sleeping in the... I've seen him sleeping in the chicken's coop these past few days. But anyway, guys, look at the iguana pen. Not completely fenced in yet. It just needs the back fenced in. Oh, okay. So we need to step in like so to get in. They're going to put more, so more soil here. And will the soil come up to here? Probably here, yeah. I'll and then, 
Yeah, mesh that will go down. Oh, it'll be so nice. Should I naturally decorate it? It can't have plants though, because obviously the iguanas will eat plants. But, oh, cool. They're going to love this. Yeah, this is big. We could also keep tortoises in here. I keep mentioning that. Okay, securing the first branch. Ah. This one's going to kind of go oh. out here. So the parrots can have like a perch that goes across. But let's see how they secure it. All right, so they're using wire to secure it. It's going to be tied really tight. Just like so. And the, the tying is going to happen on the outside. So the birds can't really unravel it all right and it's secured very little wobbling hardly any wobble okay now this is an even bigger piece which is going to go right there in that corner okay i like the look of that looks nice it looks cool <laughs> guys it's starting to look really cool now we have other plans for decorating this aviary these branches are just the basic perches that the birds will have for now. We also plan on putting planters on the side here, planting plants that could possibly vine up this wall, assuming the birds let those vines survive. We'll see. And yeah, we'll have a feeding station at some point in the middle and bathing station. And what else? We'll be hanging toys and stuff for enrichment along the sides. I also might possibly have some perches that, um, in the middle because like there's a lot of space here and room see for us to put things we'll see but this is just the beginning all right guys the second branch is secure and now they're doing the third wow and it's looking so good it's really reminding me of do you remember when we went to sydney australia guys and we saw those aviaries there at the zoo. It reminds me of that. See, look. Like, see how they're secured? It's so cool. Oh my gosh, so cool. And it's not crazy high. Like, I could just grab a chair or a stool, hang toys on there, whatever. All right, let's see the position of this. Hmm. Oh, it's so artistic. Wow. Look at that. Guys, this third one is RJ's favorite piece. Me too, I love the curvature on it. Oh guys, the birds are going to love these branches. And they're hard, they're harder than the branches that are currently in their aviary. So I think this will withstand the beaks pretty well. Let's see, I don't know actually. And you know what else guys? Looking at this configuration of branches too is cool because the birds can kind of go like this as they navigate from one end to the other of the aviary. Let's see what it looks like from the outside. Oh, cool. It looks so spacious, actually, from the outside. There's a lot of room for decor to add. Oh, this is so cool, guys. I swear, we're building a zoo. I swear, this is a zoo. What a dream. Look, see? And hopefully this traveler's palm establishes and grows nice and big. That'll be so cool. I can hear the conures screeching right now. Do you hear them? This is gonna blow their minds. I'm curious, I wonder if they're gonna just do an exploratory fly all over the place. All right, this is gonna go here. I like that position. Yes. It's coming together. I love branches. Driftwood is awesome. You like it? RJ likes it. That's a good sign. Okay, and then the last one, this one, we chose to be right there that looks so awesome wow so yeah i do think the, now that i'm looking at it it needs more driftwood like towards the bottom so the birds have the option to come down to like the mid section of the aviary and interact with us if they like i also plan on hanging a bunch of balete vines at the top there i recently did it for our new vivarium tank and it looks so good I just know the parrots would have a blast having big vines along the top of the aviary as well. All right, the final piece. Let's see what it looks like. Ganyan. That's the position. Yep. Ganyan. Yep. Okay, Very nice. It juts out. Checking the sturdiness of each. Secured, yeah. 
And the birds will poop where the perches are, so it'll be very easy, fairly easy to clean. We just have a hose that we run from this faucet. See, we'll have a hose here. And it can just, all the poop can just run down to that drain way down there. I think my favorite perch is this one and that one. Ooh, it's just so curvy. This one's nice too, and I'm sure the birds will really enjoy perching there. Each perch offers a different vibe and exercise for their claws. I mean for their feet. All right guys, let's do a final walkthrough. First perch, second, third, fourth, and fifth. <gasps> Look at how much flying room they have. Oh man, I just, I don't know how the birds will react. This will be a completely new space. They've only known the aviary and obviously being in a cage at the breeders before coming to us. I mean, change is good. Let's see. I'm not that concerned because the crimson belly conures are really adventurous anyway. I think they'll really enjoy this. All right guys, so the plan now is to lure the small birds, the conures first, into the cage by way of food so it's about time for their afternoon seed mix so they're really hungry and they're expecting to eat and we normally feed the crimson bellied conures in their cage anyway so that the big birds and the small birds can eat in peace in their own like places so the plan is to put bird seed in here have the small birds go in eat their seeds and then when it looks like they're done, we're going to move this cage out there. We're not going to give the blue napes their seeds yet because once the birds leave this cage, we'll get the cage back and then we'll bring it back in here and then have the large birds go in the cage because the large birds, the blue napes, also know how to eat in here. And that will be our way to get them in here so we could release them in the aviary. If it so happens that the conures don't want to leave this cage when they're in the new aviary, then we're just going to have to feed the, bur the blue napes here tonight and the blue napes will have to move in tomorrow. So that's, that's the plan. All right, so here's Ate Elsie. She's going to put the seeds. Come on, guys, come and eat. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening. And then she's going to... There, there come the conures, they're hungry, and she's gonna lure them into the cage to eat. They have no idea that something really major is about to happen. They just think it's an ordinary feeding day. Come on guys, there. All right, Ruby's always the first to make a move, which is great, because then the others follow. Okay, two conures in the cage now, and now Rojo will be flying in soon too. Come on, Rojo, you could do it. Gabriella is trying to sneak in a bite, but this is all routine. There we go, all three birds inside, perfect. Okay, and now we won't feed the large birds for now. They will have to wait. Um, I want these conures to fill up first because I feel like if we were to move them into the aviary now, they would totally just ignore dinner and be like, where are we? What's going on? Let's go explore. So I'll wait till they're finished. Yes, guys, you are going to love your new home. I mean, I hope so anyway. Yes. Okay, sorry, didn't mean to disturb your, your afternoon seed mix. Go eat, eat. You'll need the energy. <laughs> the blue napes are wondering where their food is. They're like, hey, did you guys forget us? That's not fair, but that's okay because the hungrier they get over this next little while, the easier it is going to be to get these three into the cage once the conures have been transported. Okay guys, so the conures have finished eating and they are mind blown. They've never left the house. How are you guys? You okay? It's crazy out here, huh? This is the outside world. Yes. It's the same world you guys see at the top of your aviary. 
Yeah, you're gonna move to your new home. All right, in goes the cage. They seem curious, unsure, but still curious. Yeah, the bigger one. Oh, I heard one of them do a little chirp. So like, what's going on? So the way this double door works is we close this door and then we close, close the second it. door, yeah. So that yeah, the birds don't fly way. out. Okay, yeah. So yeah, if we can face the door that way. Yes, guys. You want to come out? All right, I'll let you guys out. You ready? This is your new home. Oh my gosh. There we go. They know the open door. It's okay. You can come. See? They're so unsure. They're like, what's going on? Okay, so apparently there's an issue with the lock here. So the well, the metal guy's gonna come fix this for a sec before we open the the parrot cage. Meanwhile, I'll keep them company. Hi guys, what do you think? What do you guys think? Now they're gonna stick together. It's just their instinct, especially in this new space. But look, they're enamored. They're like, okay, this is a different view. All right, lock is fixed. Shall we move the cage back there? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, guys. Now I'm gonna open the cage. All right, come on, guys. Come out. There we go. There's Ruby. Ooh. See, Rubes? This is your new aviary. Yes. Come. She can't believe it. It's like, where are we? Man, your cage needs a cleaning. The three of them are just perched. I think it'll just take one of them to do an exploratory flight down the aviary and then they will all follow. It'll probably be Ruby to, to do it. Go Rubes. Come on, you're the leader. Do it. Are you ready to fly? Come on, come on guys. All the way here. Yay. Come on. Whoa, and feel the wind, there's a breeze. Now you can fly with like a nice breeze. This is gonna be new for them. Come on. See, you can climb on these branches. Come on birdies, you could do it. Mind you, they're also full, so they probably don't want to do too much flying at the moment, but they will fly for sure. It'll, it's just a matter of time. Oh, you guys look so pretty. Why don't you guys just fly to this branch here? This one here. Look, see? They're looking at me demonstrate the perch. See guys, you could perch here. It's a branch. It's strong. You could chew on it. It feels good to chew, promise. So I don't want to force them if they don't want to fly. Um, I think right now they're just taking in the environment, studying it, because, you know, it's their instinct to be wary, because a lot of things in nature are out to eat them. So it's good for them to observe first before taking action. But maybe if they see us over here, they'll, they'll decide to travel here. Come here. Come on. <laughs> Guys, we're so funny. This is such a long aviary. They can fly so far. This is gonna be new for them because they're just used to flying mostly upwards and down. But this, this is lengthwise. Here, I'll get some other food. Come, 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 come. Here. <laughs> oh, they're feeding each other. Come on, wanna come? They're like, nope, we're not falling for that. Hmm, Ow, <laughs> they bit me. Wow, you guys look beautiful here in the natural sunlight. Yeah. yeah, you have a nice background and that breeze. Guys, there's a really cool breeze blowing through here. It must be really refreshing for them. New experience. Although the aviary can get breezy, but it needs to be in a certain way that it, the breeze enters through the top of the house. You know what I mean? But here, they really feel every breeze. Oh, I see movement. 
Is that you, Ruby? Are you going to finally fly? Come on. I'm walking back. You could do it. Here, I'll not face them. I'll kind of like pretend I'm working here. Do 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 do. I'm working here. You can do it. Okay, RJ's gonna step out. He has work to do. Yep. Lock the aviary. And then now he can leave safely. I'll stick with you guys, don't worry. I'm I'm staying here. Oh! Oh my gosh! One of them flew to the perch. Wow. Look guys. I think that's Rojo too, is it? Oh, cool! How is it? And right away, going to destroy the branches. And I think the other two are gonna join. Go! Join your pal! See? They're gonna join. They're going. Yes! That's two birds! Go ahead, your turn. Ah, uh, okay, no. That was Ruby up there. Of course it was Ruby to be the first. But look, they love it. And three birds! Awesome! Oh my gosh, you guys look so good up there! Oh, you guys look so good! Oh, I'm getting goosebumps, guys. They look so good up there. How do you like it? Huh? Okay, they flew back to the cage. But that's okay. At least they know that that perch is a safety zone. Sweet! You guys know you can fly down here too. Hmm, I wonder what would happen if I brought the cage down to the other side. Can I bring this? Can I wheel you guys with me to the other side of the cage? I mean, to the other side of the aviary. I'm going for a little ride, okay? Oh, there goes the other bird. Oh, see? Isn't that cool? Guys, one of the conures flew to the side. It's exactly like the top of your aviary. Same concept. See? You have a whole world all around. I think they're starting to catch on. Come on. Ch -ch -ch. Come on. Oh, they went to join her. Yes, you guys get it. It's like the top of your aviary. All of this. All of this is yours. See? And you can see everything and everyone all around. They totally understand cage walls. Someone's climbing. Someone's climbing to the top. And there goes the second one. Climbing to the top two. And the third. All right. Go enjoy your new haven. I just can't wait to see them do an exploratory flight. That will be so awesome. Guys, look at them. I'm so happy for them. And they're chattering now. They're talking. What do you guys think? Cool, right? I think this middle one's checking where to fly to next. I believe she knows the house is there. Okay, so while the three conures are up there, we're going to very calmly remove this cage and go get the other birds. Okay, moving out the cage. This entire thing actually fits in this little room. All right, and the birds flew back here because See, they see their cage being taken away. Don't worry, we're bringing the cage back. We're just going to go get your friends. They're like, no, you're taking away our home base. Don't worry, it'll be back. Just keep exploring. It's all safe, I promise you. Guys, can you believe how many months we've been working on this aviary? They're finally in. Well, 50% of the parrots. All right, they're checking out the second perch for the first time. What do you guys think of that one? Oh, it's so good to see them exploring. This is awesome. So for captive birds, change is good, periodic change, because if they ha are too much into routine and familiarity, once things change, they get totally stressed out. So they need to be sort of adaptive in a way. They need to be like a bamboo, swaying with the wind of change. So this, like in the large scheme of things, is good for these parrots, this change of home. And I do want to add more parrots to our parrot family. We'll see, slowly. All right, I'm gonna step out and I don't think they'll panic if I leave. 
but I want to oversee the other birds coming in. Okay, so I'm locked into here, the first door, and now I can safely leave. And they're right there. Oh, don't worry, I'm coming back. Promise. Coming back. Are you going to follow me here? Come. Come this way. Yoo-hoo. I'm right here. I'll move to the other end. Let's see if they fly to the other end. Yes, they did. Oh, this is so cool. They'll chase me around if I were to run around. What do you guys think of that perch? Lots of branches, right? Yes. Okay, let's see. Will you follow me to this perch? Yup, there they go. Let's run around to this side. Come on, guys. Yes, there they are. Cool, right? Isn't it cool? Yes, super cool. You guys have a lot of cool places to explore now here. This is more freeing. You're no longer surrounded by bricks and glass. They really are following me around, watch. Yoo-hoo. Let's go to the end again. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. Here they come. And there they are. Hi, guys. See, isn't that cool being able to fly that far? That not that new? You guys okay? You okay up there? It looks like it. You guys look awesome up there. They're desensitizing to the outside world. Ah, ah, hi guys. Yeah, mm-hmm, hi. Do you like it? What do you think? Do you like it? Oh, there we go, exploratory flight. Wow. But it was short. <laughs> oh, they're flying around a lot more now. Come on. Yes, there. There we go. Cool, right? Come on, Gabriella. You could do it. She's weary because of the two strange men who brought in the cage earlier. It's okay. It's exactly like usual. If these parrots don't end up entering the cage. We're gonna put the cage back into the aviary. So, you know, the conures have at least a safe space to spend the night. Okay, Adelsi's trying to lure Gabriella inside. She's coming. Again, if we can get one of the birds to get in, the other two will follow. They're slow to trust. <laughs> so the blue napes refuse to eat in the cage. For some reason, I'm thinking it's because, you know, they're still weary and they think we're going to bring food to place in these hangy branch feeders. They're just waiting. They're like, we can wait. But they keep staring down at that cage. They're like, we know there's food there, but we'll wait. Oh, looks like someone wants to go down. Who is that? See her looking down at the cage? She's gonna be the first, I think. Come on. Yes. Yep. Okay. Into the cage. Yes. Once she's inside and she starts munching, the others will hear the ASMR and they'll get hungry. Kind of like these vlogs. <laughs> The other two are watching, they're like, let's see. For sure, down here, this is Gabriella. She's the most daring of the bunch. Oh, no? She chose not to. But her hunger will drive her. Like, she's still an animal with instincts, and the hunger will really drive her to be a bit more risky. But it looks like not yet. All right, here in the master bedroom, I just want to see how uh, the birds look from here. Oh man, the aviary looks so good with those branches there. Let's see, where, where are the birds? Um, oh, I see them. They are way in the corner there. Oh no, wait. My bad. They're right there. See how see how much they stand out? Like their color just really makes them stand out. 
Oh, it really is different seeing them in the sun like this. They look so good. I do think I want more crimson bellied conures. All right, Mabu High Squad. So we're going to continue to wait to see if the blue napes actually enter their cage tonight. Again, if they don't, we'll just have to move the cage empty in back into the outdoor aviary so the conures can have a safe space so that they can spend their first night in their new home. Um, and we'll try again tomorrow morning with the... Uh, with the blue napes when they'll really be hungry. So um, that should be a lot easier to get them into the cage. But Mabuhai Squad, thank you so, so much for watching this vlog. It's been an adventure and yay, the birds are in their new aviary and they look so good. Again, I'm a little bit tad emotional that I won't be able to see them in the aviary like within our home. But, I mean, I can see them anytime still. I'll be out there every day to visit them. We all will. And, um, yeah, this is a good change for the birds. I personally feel like it's a healthier change for the birds, too. They've got all the elements out there. Um, a lot of horizontal space to fly. And, um, also, the photo period will be a little bit more consistent. Because when we go to sleep here, sometimes we go to sleep, what, at 9? And the lights in the home are on. And that can have an effect on the bird sleeping pattern. So out there, it's a lot more consistent. And I think it'll be great for them. Mm -hmm. So Mabuhai Squad, if you enjoyed this vlog, be sure to hit the like button as it really helps us a lot. It lets YouTube know that our vlogs are worth sharing to new audiences. I know you guys have been doing that. Thank you so, so much. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Come join our Mabuhai Squad. We will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. Stay tuned for the next vlog when we move the blue napes into the outdoor aviary too. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye. Mm -hmm.